I thought I'd go ahead and get that out of the way. He desperately wants his screen time. Uh, hello, it's Micah and Amir, and welcome to the Micah and Amir show, which is very quickly what this has turned out to be. The reason my cat uh, is clamoring for screen time every day when I make these videos is because I work from this location and he sees me pressed up against the keyboard and uh, three monitors for about eight hours or longer in most cases per day. And so when I break away from that, he's uh, eager to be near me. And so he thinks this is one of my work breaks. Um, so that, that's what this is about. He doesn't, I don't think he's aware that he's uh, getting himself in on the broadcast action, but um, I could just keep the camera on him while I talk so that you guys actually have something really, really handsome to look at. Anyway, um, so uh, every day when you start off is a day of firsts. So that's, that's the good thing about beginnings. And this being my first serious week of, of making these videos, uh, every day is something new. So uh, I have one devoted subscriber at this point. A uh, shout out to, to uh, user PJ, who has engaged me in some conversation on the thread. And uh, so I had my first sort of uh, out of left field question to, to, to talk about. And I said, well, why not? I could talk about this. Uh, the question was, how do I feel about beauty pageants? Uh, that's uh you know that's that's been like that was part of the culture wars before the culture wars was even a thing as far back as at least the 80s there's been a uh i'm sure back into going back into the 60s it's been a uh, uh there's been controversy around the um idea the the philosophy behind uh beauty pageants um and i know that a lot of the contests have taken steps to uh, remove the beauty part from it. They, uh, they, they're they less likely to use terms like beauty, uh, things which, and, and, and they've, uh, many of them have taken out their uh, swimsuit categories. And, and uh, I mean, I actually haven't watched a pageant in years. This is all like secondhand, what I've, what I've read in the news. The last, last pageant related thing I remember is Steve Harvey announcing the wrong winner that year. Um, you know, I don't really follow it that much anymore. Uh, but as a kid, I was really into beauty pageants. And for me, it was the, it was the, the competition aspect of it that, that drew me in, um, the showmanship and the fact that every, uh, lady that walked onto the stage was distilled into this very precise digital rating. Uh, when I would see those little numbers and when it said Miss Iowa was, uh, scored a 9.324. I'm like, that's pretty precise. You guys must have your have your metrics uh, pr um, pretty you know pretty well figured out about about uh, about you know your criteria about what makes someone a worthy uh, pageant contestant. And uh, of course, that's always been the downfall of it: reducing women to like numbers, uh, whether that would be their measurements or whether it would be rating them on a scale of one to ten. Uh, there is definitely a undertone of, if not an overtone, of objectification there. So, I, um, I you know, I'm 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 pretty liberal in on most issues. I don't have a real grudge against beauty contests because I think there's a whole other universe, if you'll pardon the pun, outside of Miss Universe, where you don't even have to be concerned with. Uh, with those contests and, and those in the people who, who who participate and live in that world, if if it's not your thing, then you can completely ignore it, and all you're really missing out on are some scholarships that you could, you know, you can you can get to scholarships that are just as valuable using other means, uh, academic scholarships, uh, um, athletic scholarships. Uh, um, at this point, GoFundMe's. I mean, there's all sorts of ways to raise money for yourself to to achieve your your life goals. You don't have to uh, figuratively prostitute yourself on the on the pageant circuit in that way. So that's that's you know, it's not it's not it's something you can easily avoid if you don't feel comfortable doing that. But the main reason I don't I don't really have a have a 
take a really strong line against beauty pageants is because um, it's in a lot of ways it's really just a um, how should I say this it's it's really just an overt depiction of what happens in the real world we're judged based on our attractiveness at all times uh, one of the main reasons you're it's taken me so long to work up the nerve to even record these videos is because I'm concerned that I don't look good enough to uh, to make a video and not have people you uh, make critical comments and you know if I ever get to a point where I have more than two viewers per video I might have to deal with some people saying saying some negative things about my appearance and I have to be okay with that I'm not going to go through 30 minutes of makeup and I'm not going to spend a lot of time getting my lighting just right just to, to get a flattering angle I mean I am who I am and I have to be comfortable with that um, I mean, even the intro to this video was inadvertently uh, a, a really good preview of that preoccupation. Um, I'm going to continue to make self-deprecating comments about how my cat is more handsome than I am. And he is. He is a handsome kitty. And uh, But I'm also using that to deflect from my own appearance. And the fact that I'm watching myself on my phone right now making this video has, uh, is something... There's something pretty unnerving about that, knowing that this is the image that's going out and, and resisting the urge to pick apart my appearance. But most of us, you know, I, don't, I hate to drag everyone down with me, but I think most of us have a certain degree of preoccupation with our appearance. And to the extent that we are honing in on other people besides ourselves, because most of us are pretty self-centered when it comes right down to it, uh, but to the extent that we are looking at other people, we are judging them based on their appearance. So a pageant is really, to me, just an extension of, of our tendency as humans to, to be very visual creatures uh, and to make snap judgments on, of, about people and to apply a set of criteria uh, for any person we meet. Um, to some degree, every time we meet a person, there is a little box underneath that person giving a score of 9.325, just like Miss Iowa back in when I was watching pageants in like 1984. And I was when I was uh, um, to some degree um, transfixed by by those uh, by those events. Uh, it's it's something we all do. We we rate people. We we rank people. We assess their attractiveness. It's even something we do as a part of, um, as a part of the whole mating ritual, um, as part of our selecting mates and and, and uh, deciding who we're going to date or who we're going to uh, get into serious relationships with. We assess, we look at the field, we assess who we think we can, you know, pull, uh, who, uh, who, you know, what level of attractiveness can we, or unattractiveness, can we tolerate? What level of attractiveness can we, can we attract to us? How do we measure up? How does the competition look? Um, so for, the, for whatever you know, your type is, you're going to be assessing them for their attractiveness as a potential mate. And for the people that could be interested in them, you're assessing their attractiveness to see how much of a chance you have against them. So it's this huge worldwide, a social web of people sizing each other up. And beauty pageants are just a, a, just a, a, an overt a nod to, to what already happens in, in the real world. And the only thing that I'll say is, uh, in a negative light, of course, is that these contests have traditionally been uh, competitions my cat's looking at me like I said something wrong. So uh, I'll maybe edit that out later if he's if he's really caught on to something I said I shouldn't have. But these contests don't have uh, don't have men. I mean that's that's the that's the the biggest problem with them. They're not they don't you know we see more uh, objectification for lack of a better word of men more more thing more contests and more. Uh, things out there in um, in media that uh, celebrate men's attractiveness uh, it's not it's not this you know it's not the exclusive the male gaze is not the exclusive point of 
uh, of of contest related to a, a, a attractiveness anymore. It's you know it's it's a little more equal opportunity, but it, there still are no uh, Mr. America pageants on TV, and uh, you know who knows if we'll ever get to that point. Um, I don't know if getting rid of the Miss America pageant in the meantime it has uh, any any real value, but I think you know you vote with your feet, so to speak, and you vote with your eyes. And if you know I haven't watched a pageant in 20 years, and if everyone stopped watching them, they'd go away. So uh, to that extent, we can we can all sort of, we can all be activists. We can all we can all vote. Uh, we can all weigh in on on these types of things by either giving them. Uh, giving them attention or not giving them attention. And personally, after, you know, a period of fixation when I was uh, a kid, I haven't given pageants any, any, uh, any of my energies uh, for, for quite some time. So uh, I don't know, that's, I don't know if that comes off as a, a, as a cop-out uh, explanation or, or position on, on the subject, but that's that's sort of where I stand right now on it. Um, if you have differing views, you can uh, leave a comment and set me straight, and set me straight for whatever it was that I, that offended Amir a couple minutes ago. He was giving me the look of death for some reason, maybe because he wants me to get off of this phone and uh, and pay attention to him. So let me go talk to him, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.